hello good day to you uh, welcome back to my channel mechanical engineering life uh, I hope all you are guys are uh, well you and your family are all in healthy conditions uh, because now pandemic is getting worse and we hope that this pandemic will be uh, gone uh, forever uh, in coming future or in short uh, future maybe two months and three months that's our 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 hopes okay uh, first of all personally I would like to address uh, my very deep thanks to all dedicated people that making a free software available to all the people in the world while other people may make a lot of money uh, from making softwares become a billionaires but in other corner of the world uh, there are still many dedicated people sharing their knowledge making something things that really free okay while I'm now recording my video once again I would like to promote you a free software that I downloaded from internet for example uh, here what we call it uh, OBS open broadcaster software they have uh, in three variants Windows Mac and Linux 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 uh, I cannot pronounce it well Linux or Linux uh, you know they provide you this free you can record your screen for whatever purpose you need yeah uh, for example what I'm doing right now so it's free you can download on on this link so my very deep appreciation and many thanks to them for dedicated people that contribute to the to the software and also from other software that are search in internet yeah I search in Google's uh, because I'm I'm a person that uh, trying to learn many things yeah for my personal uh, purpose for example uh, electrotech this is a software that right now I'm using yeah this is the software and free to everyone yeah for you that really want to do a wiring diagram for electricity electrical automation or etc now I'm using it I, I would like to show you yeah how actually this software uh, perform uh, to fit uh, my needs and my my expectation and my planning to enhance my my knowledge because uh, a kind of software there uh, what we call a commercial software like for example Electra yeah how, how to uh, cat for electrical and then uh, many many others uh, softwares uh, they are all of course good yeah but they are not free but sometimes free for li for limited editions only for 30 days but not full package of uh, capability of the software for you to get free but this software is free yeah of course there is a limitation but my personal uh, opinion saying that it can satisfy my needs until 90% yeah that's a very good already so now I'm telling you for you guys mechanical engineers that I want to enhance your knowledge and you have a limitations to get or to buy a software uh, licensed software there are a lot of very very nice free software there and again thanks for guys who develop this you are good man okay now for example I have here what we call a relay yeah this is the schematic uh, diagram of this relay printed on its uh, body but when you want to design the automation system you need to transfer this uh, uh, schematic into, into the drawing of course 
and again as I explained to you before there are a lot of software there not free powerful not free but also there are software that free that you can use to satisfy you based on your current condition maybe you have a lack of a fun yeah to do that so you rely on the something that free okay this is the picture of a uh, Snyder uh, relay and then I want to redraw it I already took the video before before this how to redraw it this is a very simple simple and nice thing to have okay let's open the video So okay, here on the screen you can see you can uh, use a uh, user collections or you can design the the the, the schematic of equipment uh, relay contactor or etc. Based on your needs, but above here there is also there are also many many things that are already developed by others people and they are sharing it to you. So here for examples, uh, how I uh, re I make my own. Uh, uh, schematic electric for this relay so this for example but I may I would like to uh, I'm going to make it faster yeah to save times yeah you can see on the screen okay yeah very fast pass copy and etc And the numbering uh, of this uh, schematic based on the picture I took here. Yes, done. Okay. Okay, but not yet over. Not over yet. Yeah. So we go to the next video. Yeah, here. So I modify the name of the schematic in respect with the product name, Snyder Relay 24 VDC and etc. Yeah, and and this will be my own database. And I'm of course happy to say it if people wants to do to have it, but I believe they can do themselves because uh, it's very easy. So I make it a bit faster. For you guys who, who are electrical engineer, uh, I, I believe you understood uh, very well what's the meaning of this uh, numbering and etc. and the A here and etc. Okay, uh, but this for for mechanical engineer, I, I, I just want to explain to them first um, what is the benefit of this free software. Okay, yeah, naming the part. It's a good practice to have. All right, so next video. Okay, I make it a bit fast. Now I would like to make a bit slower. So after I've I done with the numbering following the schematic diagrams, so I save it and I make it here. And then uh, as you can see on the screen, it's easily you can make a template of the wiring drawings they already, already provide like this. Yeah. So now you just drag what you have made before or what other people already made. Maybe uh, your needs not met by other people's yeah so you have to make by yourself and i found that other people that already met i also use their, their theirs yeah so thanks to them uh you can see here yeah after you have a schematic uh, you met by yourself here and then uh, you want uh, for example to connect this to the wires yeah in the wire diagrams here as you can see on the, on the right side other people already made so many things yeah 
uh, we just can use it but I'm now in the video I'm now is uh, looking for the wire connections so I would like to make it a bit fast I found it cables and wire wires and then uh, okay I found a coming wires and outgoing wires see you can see it's very easy just click and then outgoing wires just click and then uh, you can connect it can connect automatically like this yeah I make it a bit slow yeah connect automatically okay now you want to connect the relays uh, what we call relay relay um, coil just connect like that directly it will be automatically connected rather than to redraw using a uh, other cat on etc it's a fast fast and faster so but the key I would like to inform you here uh, how it can be connected that uh, automatically actually in I, I may forgot to inform you that in the previous video it shall be showing that uh, how it connected there is uh, tools there inside the this free software uh, where you can actually want to pull the cables so let me check maybe after this okay it's already passed so I make a bit yeah the, uh, okay Oh, maybe it's not in this video. Okay, in the in the previous video, I think. Ah, here. So why the cable can be automatically connected? Because there is a tool here. What they call it is a. a connected cable tools yeah so very very beautiful after you draw a line so you just uh, put this uh, red and blue click here and then that will be connecting port so you can easily connect it to the cable that you have read draw and then after that you naming the cables so guys uh, actually there are a lot I'm I'm still doing for other things yeah but I'm I'm in a hurry to to inform you guys that there is uh, there are uh, uh, free software out there. So if you have a limitation in the funding, you can just uh, find that software. So yes, yeah, you can see on the screen. So that are red and blue. There's a connecting port. So if you drag this connecting port after you want to re uh, uh, if you, when you want to read to to draw it on the templates uh, or the papers. You just drag and then it will be connected automatically I can show you that in this video I also have done with a contactor and etc isolator switch and etc so I will show you as well yeah for example here yeah this is the relay that I, I'm, I'm, I have explained you and then it can be connected uh, directly by making that marks in the previous video and maybe here I show you uh, what I've done with other like a breaker contactor etc I redraw by myself uh, become my uh, database and I can drag and use it because unfortunately in this freeware uh, there is no uh, contactor available so I redraw by myself but at least I I, I, I I, I knew and they they give you free a place that 
you can make your own database usually many software a commercial software you cannot uh, have it because this open source you can make your own database and you can share with other people so here as you can see i have a breaker contactor thermal overload isola isolator switch and a motor i redraw it and connection junction junction uh, connection there yeah and then uh, you can see on the screen how fast yeah how easy it connected yeah. see yep perfect just connect 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 and then later on you just uh, type what size of this cable yeah connect 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 it's very easy already and the motor you can easily connect it and there is uh, a tools there that auto aligns to remind you that, that that things already align linearly so you just connect it like this so guys thank you very much for watching this and again please appreciate those uh, gentlemen that uh, program this uh, freeware uh, please go to the gelectrotech.org uh, for the that uh, electrical wiring uh, freeware and then for this uh, screen recording don't forget go to this uh, OBS open broadcaster uh, software Thank you very much. Have a, have a nice day and keep healthy. Goodbye.